what up everybody my name is christian thank you for tuning in in this video i'll show you guys how i color corrected and color graded this s-log footage that i shot on my sony a7 IV. the first thing i do is to slap on an adjustment layer on top of my footage i'll get this custom lut thing right here and slap it on then i get this custom lut box right here under the effects tab and as you can see here i have phantom luts which i love to use uh, but they cost money and this is the the way that looks um but in this case i will use the free luts um, sony provides in their web page so you i will leave a link to that in the description below you can download all these four luts for free in sony's web page so i will slap on this and as you see, it's a little bit different than the the one from um, Phantom Lutz, but it's still pretty nice. So I keep editing my colors. I keep color grading on the clip itself, not on the adjustment layer. And the first thing I will add is a curve. The Luma curve is the one that I'm working with. I will click and add a control point here and drag the saturation. I mean, the, the shadows down just a little bit and then i'll drag the highlights up a bit and the midtones i think i will drag them just a little bit down like that let's see what that does already looking way better so um the next thing i do is to add a color wheel and uh, further adjust the shadows a little bit just like that and then i drag up the highlights a little bit more um, and then i see that the image is looking quite nice already i can drag a little bit of saturation in the midtones just to add a little pop to the image like that and i feel as though this image is a little bit too yellowish so what i do is to actually drag a little bit of blue in the whole image not much just a little bit okay so that's the second step and then the third step uh, is to actually add hue and saturation curves and the reason why i use this tab right here is to finer adjust each color in this image so usually you can use the color picker like this but I feel I kind of know what I want to change in this image. And uh, since it's not so many colors in here, it's easier for me to just add a control point there and a control point here, which will address the colors that I actually want to change. And I will drag this a little bit up just to add it, add a little bit of warmth in the, in the um, greens. Um, and as you can see, that's what that does pretty nice and then I will go to the hue and saturation and um, I will drag let's see I will first add control points here just like the one over and I will drag this a little bit down just to take out a little bit of the saturation there like this boom all right and then I go to the Luma and the Luma is pretty important in this look uh, because as you can see, you drag this down and you get this super moody look. But anyway, I won't drag this way too much down because you will break the image, but um, you can drag it a little bit down like this and that will look perfect. So that's the adjustments we have done using the hue saturation curves. And then I want to make a new hue and saturation curves, which will address the, the more reddish tones in the image. So what I do then is to put a control point on the yellow right there and in the red. And I'll do that on all of them like this. And um, then I will, in this case, I will drag this a little bit up just a little tad not not much but as you can see now it's a subtle little change i may i might drag this a little bit down like that okay that's that change and uh the next one is then the hue and saturation which i want to drag up because i want that punch 
in color so right about there I will drag this a little bit more down like this and that is looking really nice already I want to do the same with the hue and luma I think that will do let's see what that does boom pretty pretty nice so what I see now though is that it's still too warm I mean I want the warm look as you can see this is what we have done so far I'm pretty pleased with that but I will just drag a little bit of uh, more blue in the image like this yeah that looks perfect in my eyes really really nice I am pleased so what I do next is to actually go into the effects tab and slap on a vignette on the image that's way too dark though so I'll go and control this I will bring down the the intensity of darkness in this vignette I think something like this is enough I don't I leave the size of the vignette as is um, and as you can see the vignette does quite a nice job when it comes to uh, emphasizing the main subject in the image because it darkens the corner and it makes it easier for the viewer to look at what you want the viewer to look at which in this case is my beautiful English Bulldog named Brownie <laughs> yeah so this is it guys what I want to show you as well is let's see um, yeah I want to sh show you how I can just copy um, all the attributes from this clip which I then use the command and C button. I go over here and I make sure that this clip is selected. I go up here to the edit tab and press paste attributes. And then I paste these attributes. And as you can see now, all the attributes from this clip right here is now on this clip. So, but as you can see, this clip is too dark. And now I want to do then is to actually go into the color curves and adjust the, the, um, the contrast a little bit like this. And that's enough, guys. Look at this. Now, they pretty much look the same. What I could do, though, is to go into the wheels and... Um, I, uh, drag this a little bit further down to the blue side like that you see how much of a difference that does just a little bit boom now they these look the same you see so they look more like this was shot exactly the same exposure even though it was not this was shot in a darker environment and the exposure was not the same as this one so that's how I color grade and match clips like this. And um, I want to show you how this looks without any um, effects or color uh, grade. So I'll just turn these off. And this is how it, that's the difference. So color grading is important. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope uh, this video was helpful in any way. And if you have any questions, just leave it in, in the, the comments below and I will answer you as good as I can. And um, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day.